Similar to the circle is the ellipse, which is another closed curve, which like the ellipsoid, which is a three-dimensional shape, will allow you to choose height and width separately. That basically is what makes the ellipse. So it's not a circle, or if it was three-dimensional, it would not be a sphere. So in a basic sense, I'm simply starting at the center. I chose this direction, then I chose this direction, and then the shape is finished. We'll take a quick look at some of our other, other options. Diameter. Going to allow me to choose diameter. And then diameter in the second direction. So I can make a shape that is close to a circle, but still not a perfect circle. Three points, again, in the same way as our circle tool. It's going to squeeze the ellipse between or around the first two points, using them as foci, more or less, as you can see. A round curve. Again, I'll quickly draw a curve. Click that. It locks to my curve line. And as we can see in our other viewports, I'm controlling the size now. To demonstrate super quickly what that would actually look like, why don't we have a quick preview? There, as you can see, is a shaded preview. The curve is exactly centered in the middle of my ellipse according to the point that I selected. So now I'll delete all of that. The last choice here is ellipsoid by corners. Much like drawing a rectangle, as you can see, this would be the simplest way to draw an ellipse, requiring only two mouse clicks. And so there's a quick overview of our ellipse tool.